Hi guys and welcome, welcome to your August 2019. Hey, this is your How Are You Feeling? This is going to be for the beautiful sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's uh, get uh, started. So, Sag, in your reading, all I keep hearing is mending fences, mending fences. How do I get back on track? Interesting that your reading, I'm telling you right off the bat, as I was sitting here doing all of the things that I do to prepare. You know, this seems like a carbon copy. Completely different day, completely different, um, same decks, but completely different day. New meditation. I'm asking spirit to bless me with messages for Sagittarius. And guess what? It almost appears to be a carbon copy. A carbon copy of that Scorpio video. So, um, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're connecting with a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, you guys, there was a relationship. This is a person that you have been with for a while. Crowning this particular read in this wedding. So, what this is letting me know is either you guys are already married to your person. Hold on, guys. Like, really. And, or, this is a person that you have not yet married, but there was an engagement. But you guys are unmarried. And then you got, this could be the one. And that wasn't in the correct order. Crown and the reading was wedding. Then this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Let's me know that you are with the person that you're supposed to be with. I'm just going to put that out there for you. Okay. Um, this was an engagement that um, if, you know, if there's two sides to this. If you're engaged to the person, but you're not yet married, you're supposed to be with the person. And if you're married to the person and things are rocky, stay still, stay put, because that's who you're supposed to be with. Okay. Okay, so the peak in the past lets me know that this right here was what you guys were doing. Okay, so that was the current energy. Getting to know one another, true love. So you got a further, further, okay, a further or <laughs> one more card that lets you know that you guys are supposed to be together and then you got finances and career. So, you have um, a further confirmation. That's what I was looking for. There was a huge, major upset with finances. Huge. Huge. There was some sad and hurt feelings. Um, this is a divine feminine and masculine because in the main energy, we have the king. Very, very slow moving king. Yet, he's still a king. And then in the bottom of the deck energy, we have the queen. If I'm not mistaken, this is a carbon copy of what Scorpio got in their reading. Okay. So there is a telling of the exact same story. And the true love, we got the fool. And then we got the death card. So that's one more indicator that Scorpio is present. Okay. There was a transformation and someone who decided to stick around and, and deal with this and stick around in this particular, in this relationship. Although there was a finances and career shake up and shake down. Okay. There was a complete and major falling apart of your finances. And when you guys were together, I don't know whether, again, if you're married, maybe there was a separation. If you are engaged, it was a failed engagement. This is like the, the five-year engagement or something like that, or it didn't happen. Both of you guys needed to transform independent and transform. This, this union needs to transform form together, okay? Now, the current energy it's stating that you guys need to give this relationship a chance. I hope you can see that. That is very, 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 very bright. 
flirt, and passion. Mending fences is what I've been hearing. This was a complete and utter breakdown. Let me get to the real. You can't leave each other alone. This is a situation that's meant to be, okay? You can't get away from this. We got true love and this could be the one. Okay? That's what this is. All right? Someone is, in this union is a little bit more mad than the other person. Sagittarius, unfortunately, I feel like you mucked something up. As a result of that, you have a person who has been, you've been guided to give the relationship a chance, but I think that other person, the person that you're connecting with, the person that has Scorpio in the chart, they want to leave the union. They've tried to leave the union. You guys can't leave each other alone. You just don't know what to do with one another. The bottom of the deck energy tells me that there has been some betrayal. Okay? Current bottom of the deck energy. Betrayal. Okay? When we have the five of swords and the five of cups, that is an act of betrayal and... That is what is standing in the way of you guys and either getting this, this wedding back together or this engagement. Now, a peek at the past shows the breakdown. But what's going on is, is this person, I'm shocked, doesn't trust you. Or what this is saying to me, I'm shocked because trust didn't come out. Or what this is saying is that you're being guided to give this relationship a chance because you're flirting. You need to flirt and get the passion back on track. But your person is putting the kibosh on. You guys is getting to know one another. That what is what should have happened in like maybe six months ago, I'm feeling like. Okay? This is like right now, that's like three to six months ago. This happened. The betrayal took place. There was mental games that was being played. I don't see the, the actual wands here, but any double fives is a, is a betrayal, but I feel like it's a betrayal that for some of you, it wasn't full-blown cheating. For some of you guys, it was just backbiting. It was the mental games, um, and it left someone in this, um, in this union feeling really, really sad, and I also see a child, a fire sign child. Possibly Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is here with the page. This also indicates to me that there's going to be a conversation that you guys have because pages are messengers. You're going to come back into this union with a renewed sense of confidence, Sagittarius. And you're going to tell your person that you're connecting with that you would like to give this relationship a chance. I can let you know right now that you're in for an uphill battle because there's some mending fences that need to take place, okay? I did pull an Ask Your Guides card and you, your energy pull down community. This is interesting as usual. Um, I never planned this, but this community card is definitely saying how you need the people around you right now. And I think that's interesting that it did that. Your spiritual ancestors are gathering around you at this time, Sagittarius, holding you in their light and connecting you with your spiritual family here on earth, okay? So your soul is now seeking the kind of love and support that comes from being a part of the right community, your people, Sagittarius, okay? Um, I feel like, well, it says that not wanting you to feel isolated in any way. Your ancestors hear your soul call and are presently guiding you toward kindred spirits, okay? Understand and realize that you cannot achieve your goals alone, okay? So be open to support. You need the soul energizing support of your tribe. The analogy that the book gives is that Christ picked 12 associates to help him accomplish his mission on earth. You're going to need to mend fences, not only with your community. I feel like there's some, some, some broken promises that was here, Sagittarius. There was not enough focus. There was some mind games being played, left people feeling very sad. This resonates with you. That's great. If it doesn't, that's fine. Remember, energy goes both ways. You can let me know in the comments that it's reversed, but I'm reading the way that the cards came out. Then what I see 
is that there is a child or children here. You are being guided to give this relationship a chance. Let's get into the main energy. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, but this is the strength card for letting me know that fire energy is here. You've also been up at night. There's been some anxiety and, and a feeling of not being able to sleep. Here is a 10, and that's the 10 of Pentacles. And if you take that 10 of Pentacles next to the king, you're ready to offer these 10 Pentacles. And this time, you're in it for keeps. You're trying to mend your fences and build this community back up. Um, like, just like that ex, the excerpt that I just read has stated, you're in the process of getting the judgment call that you need to put you back on track to do what you need to do. Okay. Um, this is inner strength too. And you know what, Sedge? I always try to be diplomatic in my readings, and you guys know that. But you know what? You messed this up. I am really feeling like it. Now, again, if you're connecting with a Sagittarius, cross-watchers, obviously, if you clicked on this video, you know that the Sagittarius messed this up, right? I am hearing some things, so I'm just going to start blurting off some things that I hear. If it resonates with you, that's great, because now I'm starting to hear some things. There was a engagement here, obviously. But there was a betrayal, and that's the reason why it didn't happen. There's a wedding, so there's an existing marriage here as well. Someone wasn't doing what they were supposed to do as a husband here. There should have been 10 pinnacles that should have been offered to the completion. The cycles that keep moving and then you graduate to the eighth. With this finances and career in, in your recent past. Although there was a separation that caused you guys to have to get to know one another again. Some of you guys are coming out of this and you're trying to get things back on track. You're trying to get some flirting going on to like each other again. You're trying to stay in good hopes and high spirits that this will get back on track. Cross watchers. If you're allowing your Sagittarius to do this, they've got the judgment and they're going to bring these ten pentacles home. If you have been hurt by this Sagittarius and this resonates with you and you decide that you do not want to continue this relationship, that is certainly your prerogative. But your Sagittarius is changing. Okay. I did already show you that in the most recent a peak at the past, there were some transformations going on anyway. And everything that has happened, but there is still a need to transform. Okay. Take a leap of faith with my queen. So while they were on the verge of going through this, they were doing some talking. Talking that yin yang, popping off at the mouth. As a result, yes, they put their foot in their mouth for people. They had people have swords up against you, cross watcher for Sag. Absolutely. Um, it made you very, very sad. Five of Cups. Page, children are involved, were involved. As a result of the actions, the children lie in the balance. It's not the children's fault, okay? Sagittarius, I see what you're trying to do. You're going to have to work very hard in order to get these, these, fence, these fences mended and do what you have to do, okay? Don't get discouraged because your judgment has already come in. You're ready to offer these 10 pentacles, but I can tell you, cross watchers, they've been losing sleep. They know that they need everybody in their tribe to help them out. They're going through some type of financial stuff, too. And it, yes, absolutely. Amethyst Pyramid, absolutely is a result of, of their misdoings, of their mishandlings, of their bad investments. Of them doing things recklessly. Absolutely. But we end with them knowing that. And clawing back. Clawing. <laughs> I 
I don't know what that was. Clawing back from the mistakes to put things back together. Okay. Now, if you allow the Sagittarius cross watcher to do that, that's great. If you do not, that's also great. But they have been guided to give this relationship a chance. They have got been guided up, given a further confirmation that you are the one. And regardless of whether you are already married or whether you guys have an engagement that has been put the kibosh on, but there's still a ring and you still got this ring. You guys are going, if you agree to the terms uh, at which you're said, just telling you, you guys are going to be very happy. Okay? So, you know, your Sagittarius is staying up at night thinking about this. I'm sorry for telling you this, Sagittarius, but this is what you do. That's what you're going through. Okay? Nine of Swords, the judgment. So... You're men defenses. And you, you're definitely going to get your soul tribe back together. And you want the people that you screwed up with to understand that you're sorry. And, and I think you're going to be successful, Sagittarius. So I wish you all the best. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I will see you guys back here next week when we bring back by popular demand the what aren't they telling you. And if I have time before the end of the month, um, well, that's kind of the same thing as how does Bay feel about you or how do they feel? Um, but I'm going to spin it a little bit. So, um, that's what I'm thinking that we're going to do. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Drop it like it's hot in those comments. Let me know how you're feeling. If you want to get in contact with me, you certainly know how to do that. And I will see you either next week or before the end of the month when we do it again. Bye, Sage.